हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन अनदर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू डिलोइ एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल रीड आउट द गिवन क्वेश्चन सो कैट हु इज अ किंडर गार्डन स्टूडेंट वेल वेंट टू अ मॉल ऑन हिज हॉलीडे ही फाउंड एन इंटरेस्टिंग नंबर गेम वेयर एन नंबर्स आर डिस्प्लेड ऑन द स्क्रीन प्रोवाइडेड टू हिम टू टाइप इन द नंबर ऑफ टाइम अ मोस्ट रिपीटेड नंबर एग्जिस्टेड ऑन द स्क्रीन on the screen he missed his chance and came back to you asking for the scan the list of the number available on the screen and print the number which uh, he need to type in so that he can win so uh, i will explain this question with the help of the uh, example so in this question what we have given is so we and we we are given an array of size n so let's say the elements uh, will be 1 2 3 4 and 6 okay okay so what we have to find is we have to find the frequency the highest frequency in the array highest frequency means the number which have appeared most of the times we have to print the frequency of that number so in this example the frequency of one is one in how many times one is appeared in the array one time two two is also occurring one time three is also occurring one time four which is also occurring one time and five which is also occurring one time and six which is also occurring one time and you can see the maximum frequency out of one 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 so the maximum frequency is one so the answer of this test case is one let me take out the another test case so let's say our example is 1 1 2 4 4 5 5 6 1 1 and one. okay so uh, what is the frequency of one frequency means how many times one is appeared in the array so frequency of one is one will appear 1 2 3 and 4 so frequency of one is 4 now we will calculate the frequency of 2 frequency of 2 is only one because it it is appeared only one times next 4 the frequency of 4 is 1 uh, 2 okay next we will calculate the frequency of 5 so 5 is appeared two times here you can see two times 6 uh, which is appeared one only and uh, all yeah so this is the uh, uh, we we have stored all the frequency of elements and then we have to return the highest frequency you can see the highest among 4 1 2 2 and 1 is 4 so the answer of this test case is 4 okay so this is the question okay let me uh, explain with the help of another test case okay so example is 1 10 Thirty one, thirty one, fifty four one, one and sixty one. Okay, so first we will calculate the frequency of each elements. Frequency of one is one, two. Okay, two is the frequency of one. Then we will calculate the frequency of ten. Frequency of ten is one only. Frequency of thirty one is also one. Okay. frequency of 54 is also 1 uh, frequency of 61 is 1 so we have to find the maximum so maximum among 2 1 1 and 1 is 2 so the answer of this test case is 2 only and you can see the expected answer is also 2 okay so let discuss the approach uh, of this question okay so yeah just a second yeah so uh, this is the step by step procedure to uh, solve the given question uh, what we can do is we will first store the frequency of all elements in a hash map so basically hash map store the uh, uh, the hash map stores the values in key and uh, key and value format you can uh, study more about the hash map from uh, google about c++ so hash map store the values in key value pair so in hash map there is a key and there is a value okay so what we can do is we will take this elements as a key and we will store 
the frequency as a value in the hash map okay so in c++ uh, there is a, we can use a map class to create a, a frequent hash map so basically we will create and we have to declare the type of hash map so here there is uh, these are integers so we will declare key as an integer and value is also integer so this is the syntax of hash map in c++ you can read more about hash maps in c++ on the google then uh, we will store the frequency of all elements in the hash map then we will traverse the hash map and then we will uh, we will find the maximum we will calculate the maximum frequency from the hash map okay so uh, let me take down one another example yeah so let's say our example is one two five six two two one three okay so uh, first we will create a, a map hash map basically in c++ you will call it as map which will store of type integer comma integer let's say mp and then i will uh, we will store the frequency of each element so uh, first we will check if one exist in the map initially our map is empty okay so first we will check if first uh, one is there in the hash map no one is not there so we will initialize one with the frequency one okay then two two exist in the hash map no so we will create a new key and value one then we will take five five is also not there in the hash map so five the frequency is one then we will check six six is also not there in the hash map initially so six we will initialize as a one then we will check two two is there in the hash map so we will include the frequency by one so it will become two then again two we will check two is, is there in the hash map yes it is there so we will increase the frequency by one so it became three then uh, we will encounter one one it is also there in a hash map so we will increase the frequency by one so it became two then three three is not there in the hash map so should we initialize three as a one then what we can do is we will traverse this hash map and we will store maintain a variable let's say answer which will store the maximum uh, maximum among the frequency so first it will first we will initialize answer with zero okay so first we will travel the hash map initially answer is zero uh, then we will store ans in answer we will store the maximum of answer and the current frequency basically frequency of current element okay so initially answer is zero so answer is equals to maximum of initially answer is zero and the current frequency is two okay so maximum of 0 comma 2 is 2 so answer here is 2 only next we will encounter 3 so uh, the current value of answer is 2 so answer is equals to maximum of answer current value 2 and the current frequency is 3 so maximum of 2 comma 3 is 3 so answer at the current point is 3 okay then we will again calculate answer is equals to maximum of answer comma current frequency okay so answer is equals to maximum of current answer is became three and the current frequency is one so maximum of three comma one is three only so answer is three then again we will calculate the same way maximum of three comma one which is also three so answer remains the three then again we will calculate the same the frequency answer is equal to maximum of current answer but that is three and the frequency of color element that is one so at the last we will uh, the answer is three which is expected because here the maximum frequency is three you can see one two and three so this is the maximum frequency so let's discuss the c++ uh, code of this uh, uh, this particular problem okay all right so uh, first i will like uh, take int n that will store the number uh, like we, we have to take the array as input so how many elements is there in the array so first we will take int n as an input then i will create a vector uh, vector which is similar to array in c plus plus stl of a uh, name arr okay then I will uh, traverse n times i is equals to 0, i less than n and i plus plus 
okay then i will uh, simply uh, take in uh, i will simply take the individual elements in as an input and then i will push the elements in the vector only okay so arr dot pushback k so at this particular moment our array is created now what we have to create we have to create a hash map so the syntax of uh, creating a hash map in c++ is we have to create map of type integer comma integer as we have discussed in the solution so i will name it as mp then i will uh, traverse through the array okay okay then what we have to do is uh, first first we have to check as we have discussed if the current element is there in the hash map or not so mp dot find function of arr of i we will check if the current element is there in the hash map or not mp dot find arr of i is equals to equals to arr dot and sorry mp of and yeah yeah so in this line first we will uh, we have to check if the current element is there in the hash map so this is the name of the map and this is the find function which returns uh, uh, this is the find function in which we have to pass the element if it return the last iterator means there is the element is not present in the hash map so if the current element is not there in the hash map we will uh, initialize it, its value in the hash map as one as discussed in the solution otherwise if the element is already present in the hash map then we have to simply increase the frequency of that element element so arr of i plus equals to one we have to simply increase the frequency of that particular element in the hash map then as discussed i have take i have, have taken an answer as a variable which will store the our final answer okay i will initialize it with zero then i will traverse in the hash map for auto i co for auto i colon mp so this is the syntax of uh, traversing in a hash map you have to write auto and the name of the variable i you can name it as a b c anything and the name of the map which is mp okay so so in i it there is two values i dot first and i dot second okay so we have to take the second element because we have to we have uh, we have to find the frequency so frequency is stored in the second in the i dot second part in the hash map so we have so the current frequency we can get it by i dot second okay in i dot second the frequency is stored then i have to simply we have to simply take the maximum of answer and the current frequency which is fr eq okay and at the last we have to simply print the answer okay so this is the uh, solution let me explain it once again so what i have done this i have taken n as an input and then i have created a vector which is similar to array in c plus plus stl and then i have taken the integer array as an input and then i have initialized a hash map of type integer comma integer that will store the frequency of each elements then i have traversed n times and as discussed first we will check if the current element is not there in the hash map mp if uh, in the find function if the find function returns and that means the current element is not there in the hash map so we, we have to initialize mp of that element with one it is not there in the hash map if it is there in the hash map we have to simply increase the frequency by one okay then i have taken a variable n answer sorry to store the value to store the, our final answer then i have traversed in the hash map and uh, uh, first we have to find the current frequency so current frequency we will get by i dot second okay then we have to simply uh, take out the maximum from the current answer and the frequency so answer is equals to maximum of answer comma current frequency and at the last i have simply uh, printing out the answer itself so let me run out the code okay so let me take this test case uh, how many elements are there one two three four five six okay six is the number of elements and the elements are 1, 10, 31, 54, 
Sorry, 54161. All right, yeah, yeah. So you can see the output is two, which is expected. Okay, yeah. So the time complexity of this solution is order of uh, order of n because we are traversing the hash map only once, and the space complexity is order of n because we are using an extra hash map to store the frequency okay so uh, this is the solution of this problem if you have any doubts and any questions then let me know in the comments i will provide the solution of this question in the description so yeah that's it about this video we will meet you in the next video bye bye